We are up to the letter S, and this is a big one because it is so integral to the practice of archaeology. And you've heard me say it before, that would be stratigraphy. Strategery. <laughs> no Will Ferrell stratigraphy. And that is basically the study of the layers of soil, sediments, and artifacts in place in the ground at an archaeological site. Now, the theory starts out pretty simply. Stuff on the bottom is older and was deposited earlier than the stuff on top of it. First and primary goal is to establish relative chronology, relative dating at a site trying to better understand the site formation processes that left the site as we find it today. Let's have a look at this simple diagram. Here at the bottom, you have phase one, which is the earliest part of the site, or actually the earliest part that we have uncovered in the archaeological investigation. In the first phase of this site, we see a road with a ditch next to it, which, based on our understanding of this site, mm, that might be a Roman road, like we saw last week at Flag Fen. And that leads us to phase two. So let's say the Anglo-Saxons arrived in this particular spot in the 6th century, 100 or 150 years after the Romans left. Well, they thought this would be a nice place to plop a hall, and hence they drove posts into the ground, which is how they built their buildings, and that's what created our post holes. And one day, a group of archaeologists come along, and they want to investigate the site. So they dig a pit. And what do they see? Three layers of clear stratigraphy telling the story that I just told you. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Look at that. 